Playing in lakes, it's something a lot of us do in the summertime. Yes, it is, but something living beneath the surface could be harming our health. WSBT 22 fact finder Suzanne Spencer shows us new research on Kosciuszko County lakes could be making history. For the past six years, students at the Center for Lakes and Streams at Grace College have been studying Lake Wawasee. It's the largest natural lake in the state of Indiana, and their preliminary research is showing just what is living in our water. This is a routine checkup, but it's not your conventional doctor's appointment. These doctors, students at Grace College, their patient is Lake Wawasee. That's the Van Dorn. It, you can send it down to the bottom and then we'll get a water sample from the bottom. And then we can bring that up and take it and send it to a lab to get it tested. So we need to come out um, often and check our lakes and see if they're healthy or not. Lake Wawasee has the clearest water of the sporting lakes in Kosciuszko County. It pumps business, drives real estate, and propels growth. But some growth in the waters of Lake Wawasee is rising to the top of priorities for these students. We're looking for nutrients, which is what feeds the algae and the weeds that are growing in the lake. We're looking for potential toxins, which could be harmful to people or pets. Research reveals blue-green algae are floating in Lake Wawasee, but only some produce toxins. We want to take samples of both the top warm layer as well as the bottom cold layer to get a complete picture of what's going on in the lake. Every week, these students, alongside Director Nate Bosch, test the waters. We know uh, that the blue-green algae are growing on nutrients that get in the lakes from a variety of sources. And, um, but there's other things that we don't quite know. That's why students head to the lab, input preliminary data, and create the samples. This is lake water from Lake Wawasee. Mary Popilski is a junior at Grace. So we can kind of see the health of the lake by what algae is on it, how much of it is there. Uh, which is mostly important in the summertime because that's when blue-green algae usually pops up and gets really abundant. Using a clamp and liquids, Popilski makes the slide transparent, heats it up, and then it's ready to go. Margaret Hirschberger sees algae on these slides. She's trying to determine which ones are toxic. It's never been done to this extent on Lake Wawasee. Currently in the lake, 90% of all the algae that's there is blue-green algae which is the type of algae we don't want to see. This new research shows 30 different species of blue-green algae are living in the water. In 1954, researchers found 14 different kinds, and in 1912, they only found one. We're starting to get some hits on possible correlations between uh, what could be causing that, and that would be really revolutionary if we can figure that out. Because then not only can you predict when the blue-green algae will produce the toxin, but you can then also maybe tweak the lake a little bit in order to trick the blue-green algae not to produce the toxin. Toxins like fertilizer and yard waste could be filtering into the water, but so could zebra mussels. Bausch says their research is an early prognosis of Wawasee's health. We want to understand the lake, how it's working, how we can keep people in the community safe, and then we hand those results over to local managers, local elected officials to make the decisions on how best then to implement those recommendations. Keep in mind these students are studying lakes across Kosciuszko County, but the blue-green algae toxins they found in Lake Wawasee are not a consistent health threat so far, and that's really why they're continuing to do this research to reduce any risk in the future. If you want to do your part, head to our WSBT 22 mobile app where you have much more information on there. In the newsroom, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News.